actress, producer, Salma Mumin, has rubbish suggestions that the launch of a Salma Mumin Foundation was to erase all the ill thoughts fans had of her after a media war with colleague Moesha Boudon. The actress, who also disclosed she feels uncomfortable when asked about her source of income, touched on the state of the Ghanaian movie industry. She also revealed that seeking assistance from corporate bodies can be daunting. Um, I honestly didn't. I didn't. I just worked with um, the brands, the that, brands that I'm used to. And it was easy for me to do that. And I didn't have much time. Maybe next time we'll really take time to um, write to these corporate bodies. Is it because you, you've lost hope that they won't respond? Um, I think it's also part of it. Western time is actually not part of my... Um, you know, <laughs> so um, over the years I've written to these corporate bodies in search of support and none responded. So I found it time wasting and I didn't want to waste my time anymore. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm asking also because it looks like uh, the crafts that you do, um, which is acting, is what people know you for actually. Summer's Kitchen, yes, uh, each year I've been there mm -hmm. and all that. But um, People see you people and say, there's nothing happening, there's no business, and so how do you expect me to put my money there when I don't know how I'm going to get the returns? You'll get your returns when you put your money. People are just scared to put in their money because they are not seeing anything, as they said, and they, they've they lost interest in Ghana films because of how our movies used to you know, look. So I really don't blame them much, but I'll urge each and every one of them to, um, you know, start getting a little closer to understand where he have got into in the industry. As I keep saying, we've, you know, rectified our mistakes. We've um, worked so hard towards changing the narrative. So they should come close and get to know us better. I know that they can always make their returns. I see your colleague, Ivo Nelson, rants on Twitter about your movie industry. So you are interested in slaying, you don't care about the movie industry. We do, we do, we do. I haven't seen that, but we do care a lot, yes. Well, the reason I'm asking you is because if you do care a lot, why is it that a lot of you will come back and say it's dead, there's nothing happening, and still people care, but you're slaying? Um, I don't know what they are talking about. Honestly, the movie industry has been, you know, quiet for a while, but it's reviving and I get jobs and I get paid, so I honestly don't know what people are talking about. Yes. Finally, on the movie industry, before we come back, your colleague, Princess Shingles, posted on social media that none of you can say that you make your money from just shooting movies. Yes, me, per se, I don't make all my money from movies. I make from movies, I make from my restaurant, I make from other sources. I do um, investment, so of course, and no one is entitled to make money from just one source. So if she's right, she's right. Was it the movies that would give you the money to get the restaurants or you had some other source for the restaurants? And I the honestly don't things? like being questioned, <laughs> you know, about my source of income, so I'm okay with just Why, why is that so? Um, I'm an adult. I, um, I have a private life, even though I have my social lives, and my financial life is my private life, and it should remain like that. Yes. You get worried when people like her begin to say things like that about you people? I get worried a lot, of course, because that's not what it is. Me, per se, I hardly rest. I'm always on the move. I'm always on the move, you know. I'm always investing, using everything I have to you know, invest back into my business. So it's really painful when someone says otherwise about you. And for me, it's really disrespectful and um, mis it's mislead the younger ones that until you have a man or you, you are doing some kind of things or living some kind of lifestyle, you can never make it. But that's a lie. If you work as a woman, you can make it. There are some men over there that aren't working and they are not making anything. Same thing applies to women. If you work, you make money. If you don't work, you're not going to make money. So they shouldn't make it look like, oh, this is what you, you have to do as a woman to, you know, be successful. You had a dramatic ending of 2019. You're in the news all through, back and forth with your 
should actually your ex-friend, your friend, Moesha Budon and all that, did that affect how um, you looked at the industry? Did it affect how you looked at your 2019 as well? And has it affected your psyche towards 2020? Not at all. No, not Even at all. You're being dragged back and forth and you're doing the exchanges on it's social, social media. It's social media, as you said. It's social media. I have a private life, a very serious life. So that was just the joking side of my life. So it doesn't affect anything. Do you think that when you guys do these on social media, the people who want to invest uh, would ever take you serious? You say, oh, Charlie, I'm going to go to to see our social media. We can't put our money here. <laughs> In other industries, organizations still work with celebrities that have done the worst. It's social media, it's the media, it's internet. Why would someone take it seriously? We have our personal lives, as I said. So uh, it shouldn't affect um, us in terms of getting jobs, getting ambassadorial deals and all of that. It shouldn't. It shouldn't at all. We have our private lives. So you don't have when it comes to what happened between you and Moesha on social media, you don't have any regrets. If you could turn the hands of time, you wouldn't do things differently. Um, I wish I could, but it happened. What has happened has already happened. And the social media, as I said, nothing really serious. To me, it's not serious. But when I look around, I realize that a lot of people took it seriously. But I'm OK. My life is all about me, and it should be about me. And I only care about me and what I think and what I feel. Because uh, people might think that this foundation is to cover up, is to, is to... That's what they are saying. But when did this foundation even come out? It was just this morning that I announced it. say maybe it's oh, the cover up. This one, you are lying. I you are somebody the one who think. I said somebody thing. who will think. I didn't even say people are... You said people are already saying it's a cover no, up. No, 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 no. I said some people think that it's a cover up. A cover up. 2018, I did Selma Feeds. Mm, but so. this is the foundation you're launching. I've always had my plans. The fact that something happened doesn't mean I should keep my plans in my closet. I had all these plans before any brouhaha happened. So. so it's not to clean the image that people already have about you? Nobody has any bad image about me. I'm still Selma. I mean, the Selma they've always known. It was rather unfortunate whatever happened, happened. But it doesn't change who I am and... I'm happy with my life and everybody should be happy. It's a new year. We should forget about past stuff.